Well, hello. Thanks for coming back to check out another video. So, we are here today to sit down and do our very first update, our one month update to Pan That Palette. I cannot believe that the month has already come and gone and like flown by. So I'm going to try to get through this just a little bit quickly because we do have a thunderstorm quickly approaching us and I have my ring light on and everything. It looks decent in the viewfinder, but it is like a little bit dark in here. And so I just want to, you know, get this wrapped up quickly. So either way, Pan That Palette. If you will recall, I did choose to go with the Kaleidos Club Nebula palette. This is a collaboration palette with the lovely Angelica Nikvis. And I have to say, after spending a whole month with this palette, now obviously this palette was very loved before bringing it into this project, but after having like a full month with it, I'm even more confident with my decision to go with this palette. This for me is a great standalone palette and I love using this to just do like a standalone eye look. But this palette has also been really nice as just a companion palette. And that was something that was really important to me was to have a palette that not only works well on its own, but is something that I can at least pull one shadow from each time I sit down to do my makeup. So having experienced all that and been able to accomplish things and use every shadow at least one time during this first month, I am just, you know, super excited to continue forward with this palette and I have no regrets. Okay, so what I want to do before I actually open this up, I'm going to roll a clip for you guys. The first clip will be what this palette looked like at the introduction, all the way back at the beginning of July when we brought this in. And then the next clip that you're going to see is a close-up shot of what this palette is looking like as I'm sitting down to film today on July 30th. super excited with all of the progress that I was able to make with just one month with my palette. I do want to say my only goal that I had for this first month was to at least try to use every shadow from within this palette one time and I was able to hit that goal. There were some shadows that got used more than one time and then there were some shadows that only got used the one time but overall I'm really happy so I can safely tell you that every shadow in this palette has been touched within this year which is kind of exciting. So since I can't really bring the palette too close in because the ring light is going to like reflect off of this slightly reflective background, I'm going to throw up a close up of this palette again and we're going to talk through some different things. Okay, so the first shadow in here is the shade Firefly, which is just a really pretty green shimmery shade. Beautiful on its own, beautiful as a topper shade. I feel like the pan on this has expanded because if you'll recall, we did already have pan on this shadow at the introduction, but I managed to use this shade five times within the month. And like I said, I really do think that the pan on that has expanded. I have, I don't know if it like translates on camera for you guys, but the top of where that pan is, all of the product is cleared out of there as well. So we actually have top side pan, you could call it. So in the next shadow, the seven of nine, which is the really nice kind of like, I don't want to say pastel, but it's definitely a light kind of like baby blue, Carolina blue type color. It is called seven of nine. I had such a massive dip on that at the introduction in, you know, bringing this palette in and I was able to hit pan on it. As you guys can see, it only took me three more uses. I used it three times in total this month, but the three uses to hit pan and I'm really excited because that's just another pan within this palette. So we're going to skip on down and to the last shade of that top row, which is the shade Void. Now again, this shade already had pan on it when I brought this in at the introduction, but I just want to call to note that I used Void three times this month and I feel like that pan has greatly expanded as well. It was kind of like a baby pan when we brought this in at the introduction. So then we will move on down and we will go to the shade Rock Hopper, which is kind of this, it's on the second row fourth shadow in. It's this really pretty kind of like gray purple color. I just absolutely love wearing this either in my crease or using it as an outer V shade. And I just want to point out that even though there is no pan on it, there is a, like a huge dip. I really think that I'm very close to hitting pan on that shade. Then we will go down to the last row. So the second shadow over Nova. Now this one might be pretty hard to pick up on the camera because it is a white base shadow with a blue flip to it. However, it did not have pan on it last time. I managed to hit pan on this Nova shade during this first month. 
So I used it five times in order to hit pan, but I used it three more times after that. So a total of eight times for this Nova shade. And like I said, was able to hit pan. And much like with the Firefly shade, the top part of that pan is all of that shadow is cleared out. So again, we have like top side pan within that Nova shade. Then the last shadow that we will talk about kind of like as just this, uh, you know, overview, I guess, is the last shadow, the dark red matte, which is red giant. I think if I'm not mistaken, this shadow was my most used shadow for the month, clocking in at seven uses. I will leave a full usage breakdown of these eyeshadows listed in the description box for you guys. But either way, back to red giant. Much like with the rock hopper shade, there's just such a good dip going on in this shadow. And I really think that if I continue to focus in on this shade uh, for the month of August, I could actually have pan on that as well. I do also want to call to note that the pan, or the not the pan, but the dips on the shades Rock Hopper and Red Giant, those look very concentrated and they are. The brush that I typically use for both of those shadows is my Refer 13 brush, which is just a very small uh, fluffy brush that I absolutely love to use as my outer V brush. So it's kind of like when you use, let's say, a pencil brush in your eyeshadows and you're able to get that very like concentrated, almost like it's like you're burrowing into the shadow, you know? I just wanted to point that out. That's why they might look a little bit funny with those dips. But either way, like I said, I'm really happy with the progress that I have made on this palette. I feel very confident in going forward with this. So let's talk quickly about some goals and then we will do eye looks and kind of wrap up this video. So goals moving forward. I really think that instead of like trying to focus in on every single shade. I think for me, I would like to pick at least three to four focus shades for the next month and see how much progress I can make on them and go about panning it this way. If you pan palettes and you find that a different strategy works best for you, let me know down in the comments below because I'm always curious to see. We always, like I feel like everyone uses makeup in such a different way and so sometimes you know, different techniques, different styles. It's just nice to like know it all and try it out. So either way, if you have a different approach, let me know. But either way, my focus shades that I want for the month, I have them written on a sticky note. I would like to continue to use this shade Firefly up here in the top corner. Again, it's that great shimmer green shade. That is actually my lid shade that I have on today in this eye look. It's just so pretty, so fun. And honestly, I think Firefly is probably going to be the first shadow that we finish off with in this palette, even though that's really projecting far into the future. That's just my guess. Okay, so another focus shade that I would like to focus on is this shade Gravity here. So it's just the kind of like light matte green shade. Again, I am wearing that shade in today's eye look as well. It's just a really pretty shade and I have to say it's one of the least used shades within this palette as we sit here today. I don't know if I'll be able to hit pan on it within a month, but I would like to try to focus in on it. So then also I would like to focus in on the dark purple shade down here, which is Cylon. It's a really pretty shade and I absolutely love using that in my outer V. I tried to, the way I tried to pick out these focus shadows was to just sit down and look at everything that I'm panning eyeshadow wise across the board and see kind of like what would fit in together. So even though Cylon already has pan on it, just the color of it being that dark purple, it's going to pair really nicely with some of the other things that I'm already working on. So then my last focus shade that I want to do is the matte shade Red Giant. So again, this one, not only is it going to go nicely with some of the other things that I'm panning, but I do already have such a good dip on it. I feel like I'm really close to pan and it would be nice to try to at least hit one new pan each month while we're doing this project until we have pan in every single shade. I don't know if that's an attainable goal, but we're going to try. So that wraps it up as far as like an overview for this palette. I'm going to grab my phone right quick and I'm going to show you three eye looks that I did using this palette this month. All right, I have scooted over so that you can see the same picture that I am looking at on my phone. So this first one, every single shadow that you're seeing on the image comes from the Club Nebula palette. I really enjoyed pairing the bright blue seven of nine shade with that darker Cylon shade. I just think that that's a really pretty color combination. It's a color combination that I love to do with other palettes that I have in my collection. So I could foresee myself maybe not necessarily doing this same look, but at least pairing those two colors together. Like I'm really curious to see how well they would do in like a halo eye type situation together. 
All right, this next look to talk about was one of my favorite eye looks that I've done this month. So it was a very colorful look. I don't know how well it translates in the picture because again, I have hooded eyes, but I do have most of the shades from the Club Nebula palette in this eye look. So it's a very bright crease, like it goes from green to blue to purple. And then my lid shade is a lovely duochrome shadow from the Hella palette, which is an Uden's eye palette also a collaboration with Daniela Kinevis, but it's just a pretty duochrome shade. I really love just the brightness and the funness of this look. This is a look that I could see myself repeating just because again, even though it was kind of time consuming, having three colors in your crease, it was worth it and it was really pretty and I got a lot of compliments on my colorful eye look that day. All right, so then the last picture, this was a color combination that I had never done before. So I used the raw copper shade in my crease and then I layered the red giant, so the grayish purple matte and the red matte. I layered red giant, the red matte, in my outer V. And when I first did this eye look, I was like, oh, I don't like this. But the more I wore it throughout the day, the more I did end up liking it. And I will say in this picture, for some reason, Haley decided that a bright orange lip would look great with this eye look. And maybe that's what's kind of throwing me off because throughout the day, I did apply just a nude lip gloss and I feel like it looked a lot better. So forgive my lip choices. But either way, I was really happy to find this color combination because again, like I said, it's not two colors that I would have normally put together, but they blended in and faded really nicely together and almost kind of made this like gray, kind of lavender shade in between both of them. So this again is an eye look that I could see myself repeating, maybe trying it out like a few different lid shades with it, but again, just really great like color combination. All right, so we have done an overview. We've talked about new pans, expanded pans. We've talked about if we hit our goals from the first uh, month. We've talked about our new goals for this second month going forward. So I really don't think that there's anything else that I need to address in these updates. However, if there is something that you would like to see, please let me know down in the comments below because I really do want to make these updates as enjoyable for you guys as possible. So I'm going to cut it off here. I'm going to tell you to have a good day, a good night, or a good whatever, and I'll catch you in the next one. But don't click off just yet because at the end of every uh, pan those, not pan those eyeshadows, at the end of every pan that palette update, we're going to roll the clips, the montage, we'll say, of how the palette is progressing. So you're going to see that introduction clip as well as that first month clip again. But now I will end it. So I hope you guys enjoy.